Shooter ambushed a Barstown police officer 10 years ago today. After all that time, the person who killed Jason Ellis still has not been caught. WDRB's Stefan Johnson reveals where the investigation stands today. Despite a $200,000 reward, hundreds of tips and massive investigative resources, this case has gone cold. But the people who knew and loved Jason Ellis believe his killer will be arrested. Historic Bargetown, Kentucky has been called America's most beautiful small town with its distilleries, bourbon. People don't talk here in Nelson County. And dark secrets. Never dreamt it had gone on 10 years. After a decade, the murder of Officer Jason Ellis remains unsolved. The phone rang and um, it was one of the dispatchers. It was uh, about three in the morning. And so when you hear politicians talk about what will you do when you get the 3 a.m. phone call, uh, I got it. She didn't go into a lot of detail, but she said there'd been an accident with, with Jason. Mackenzie Mattingly was a detective with Bargetown PD. When Ellis was shot and killed, on May 25th, 2013. I had worked with Jason when I was in uniform on second shift. Back then, Rick McCubbin was Bargetown's chief of police. You know, it's like the uh, captain of the ship happened on my watch. Jason Ellis was on his way home from working a shift, driving on the Bluegrass Parkway when he stopped and got out of his car to remove a tree branch from the roadway. Debris investigators believe was deliberately put there when he was shot and killed. To this day, 100% convinced that it was a, a planned ambush and that Jason Ellis, for whatever reason, was the target. Immediately, Bargetown and Kentucky State Police converged on the scene. Then federal agencies got involved, so no one thought the case would go cold. The morning that it happened, that Saturday morning, um, I did the press conference there in the parking lot of, of the Bargetown PD. And I didn't think it would be the end of the day I was going to have a name. But days eventually turned to weeks, months. I just couldn't believe that someone could do that to one of our officers and not be swiftly brought to justice. Then years and still no arrest. The FBI and its law enforcement partners are seeking information about the murder of police officer Jason Ellis. The investigation is now in the hands of Kentucky State Police and the FBI and there's nearly a quarter of a million dollars in reward money being offered for an arrest and conviction in the case. It still haunts me and I guess it always will. Since the murder, Detective Mattingly and Chief McCubbin have both retired. The fact that the case is unsolved is, I mean, it's a burden that we all carry in law enforcement. We want to have closure. We want the family to have some closure. We want to know who is responsible for this heinous crime. In 2017, former LMPD Assistant Chief Kim Kresick was hired to lead the Bargetown Police Department. After all these years, I never give up hope. I know the detectives that are working the case work tirelessly. They want the case to be solved. We all want the case to be solved. Outside the department, there are memorials, and inside, the walls are covered with images of the fallen officer. We stop and we look at them over and over and over every day just to keep him in our hearts and minds every single day. And although they are no longer in law enforcement. I totally believe it's uh, solvable and, and hoping and praying uh, sooner rather than later. Both Mattingly and McCoven are waiting for the next phone call. I said, you gotta let me, you gotta let me celebrate with you. And feel confident there will be an arrest in the case. I think Chief Kim and hopefully the next chief or whoever, I, I'm pretty confident they're gonna, they will call me. They told me they would and I have no doubt they will. If you have a tip, just head to our website and you'll find links and phone numbers to share the information. Hard to believe it's been 10 years already. Stefan, thank you.